Jesus, we thank you for these next few minutes as we worship, as we lean into your word, as we open our hearts to your spirit to refine us, as we talk about inheritance that no one would leave this room or this space or our time together online feeling disqualified from carrying and releasing the fullness of our inheritance in you, Jesus. We declare as we worship that everything that we are, everything that we do, everything we experience in this place, healing, wholeness, miracles, restoration, opening of hearts, opening of minds, renewal of hope, it's all because of you, Jesus. We ask this morning as we worship you that our eyes of our, our hearts would be on you and we would have fresh revelation of who you are, Jesus, and how you've revealed to us the Father, and that we would be sons and daughters coming home and receiving the fullness of our inheritance so that we can return and release it into this world for your glory and for your purposes. I thank you, God, and declare for every person within the sound hearing of my voice this morning that you wanna to speak to us about the specific calls and assignments that are on our life. And we say yes to you. Come and minister by your spirit as we worship. Meet us as only you can. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.
You're waking up my soul And it's my joy to thank you Thank you in you alone You're waking up my soul It's my joy to thank you Thank you in you alone You're waking up my soul It's my joy
that God gave us that were like, this is too long. <laughs> and I feel like just God wants to encourage us to pick those up again. So if there's something that comes to mind, just hold that out in front of you. You could hold it in your hands in front of you if you want, or just your heart. And let's just sing, I'm standing on the promises one more time with that dream in our heart. Thanks, God. I'm standing, and I'm standing on every promise that you make. I will see it come to pass in your name, in your name. In Jesus, I will trust every word I hear you say. I will see it come to pass in your name, in your name. And I Every promise that you make, I will see it come to pass in your name, in your name. In Jesus, I will trust every word I hear you say.
every promise that you made I will see it come to pass In your name, in your name In Jesus I will trust Every word I hear you say I will see it come to pass In your name, in your name One more time I will see it come to pass In your name song I wanted to uh, to share this psalm from David <clears throat> it's in Psalm 37 he says fret not yourself because of evildoers be not envious of wrongdoers for they will soon fade like the grass and wither like the green herb trust in the Lord and do good dwell in the land and befriend faithfulness delight yourself in the Lord and he will give you the desires of your heart commit your way to the Lord trust in him and he will act he will bring forth your righteousness as the light and your justice as the noonday. Be still before the Lord and wait patiently for him. Fret not yourself over the one who prospers in his way, over the man who carries out evil devices. And this is one of, uh, one of my favorite verses because David wrote this in, you know, when he's old, King David. And looking back in his life, I feel like this is a wisdom for us today. And seeing when things are not going away, when you know, evil or anxiousness or fear is captivating us. And, and there is a uh, invitation to delight yourself in the Lord. And delight yourself in the Lord and he will, this is the posture that he gives us as delight. And the invitation is delight ends the war over our identity. Delight ends the war. And so when, yeah, so as we continue on, Let's, and to delight means to be soft and to be delicate. And so as we continue on, let's be in this presence of delight and softness and tenderness before the Lord.
blood of test Children held within the arms of peace He's made a way for all Mercy waits for sinners He is our victory He is our victory places we have authority and over influence and influence God we just pray that your victory would be made manifest that it would be sons and daughters coming home to you laying hold of your victory and then carrying that out to the places that need it continue to work in our hearts in this time open our minds to you Jesus. 